Okay, I've had several questions uh, from different people asking me about my packet radio configuration, uh, specifically running TCP/IP over AX25 over packet radio. Uh, so this is a quick overview of uh, what I've been doing. Um, I have a machine here on the top of a rack of equipment, uh, which is connected to. Uh, via some very messy cabling, which you shouldn't really take too much notice of, uh, to a PK88 radio modem there. And that in turn is connected to an ICOM IC208 on 432.700, which is then connected to a dummy load just for testing. Now, on the other end of the link, I have a Raspberry Pi with a TNC Pi modem, uh, that's a DIY kit, connected via a short cable to the data port on an FT817, also on 432.700. Now you'll notice the Pi has no other networking enabled, no Ethernet and no USB interfaces providing Wi-Fi or anything like that. So, connected to the radio machine I've got, if I do ifconfig ax0, which is the packet interface, you'll see it's got an IP address of 10001. This is typically the server side, but for this test I'll be connecting from the server to the client, which is the Raspberry Pi. Now, if I ping, say I send four packets, Sorry, the camera won't focus very well, so it's uh, waving around as I move the camera. Four packets to 10.0.0.2. You'll then hear the two radios talking, and hopefully some ridiculous ping times. And 50% packet loss. Bearing in mind these are in the same room, uh, I think this is more just due to packets colliding more than anything else. Um, let's try and send a few more, say 10, and see what sort of packet loss we get. So you can see the packets are actually received out of sequence. And again, 60% packet loss. It isn't normally this bad. I'm wondering if I've got the levels adjusted incorrectly or if the radios are so close that even with the dummy load it's, it's overloading. Uh, that's really not normal at all. But we'll continue for the test. Now normally, from the client to the server I'd tell that because it's a lot less light, well it's a lot more of a lightweight protocol. But because I don't have a telnet server running on the Pi, I've got to use SSH but we can try and minimise things by enabling compression. Right, I cut the video there as I wasn't happy uh, with the way things are going. I've tried adjusting levels and I've set up a ping which rather than, not flood pinging, but of course it is for packet, rather than sending a packet every second, it's sending a packet every five seconds, which is giving the other end a chance to respond. So as you can see, we're now getting a reliable incredibly speedy two second ping time but at least it's working and there doesn't seem to be much packet loss by control C zero percent packet loss right let's try the SSH again should have perhaps enabled should have perhaps sorry missed the phone call there I should have perhaps enabled the verbose option so we can see exactly what SSH is is doing and how far it's getting through the negotiation but I didn't so let's just stare at a a boring console screen with no feedback
and will it stall the game? Aha! Finally! Now if I can remember the password... And we're logged in. Let's do uh, uptime. And yes, I typed that, but I don't have local echo enabled, so it's now sending the packets across and waiting for the response before displaying it on the console. And as it's returned the information, I don't know what it's doing now. Ah, the prompt. Okay, let's try something, um, what about, uh, D message, that will produce a, a nice quantity of text. And I've just hit return. Now bearing in mind this is 1200 board packet running AX25 itself, which is being used to run TCP IP over, so there's first of all a, a really slow board rate plus several layers on top of this, so you can't expect it to be too quick, but all in all it is actually usable. I would have thought that 9600 board packet running TCP IP would actually be probably quite usable indeed. Yeah, you can see the, the sort of speed here. Slightly slower than a, a native AX25 connection to a BBS. So it is usable. I should probably control C this. And I might have to end it here because it may take 10 minutes to finish sending before aborting. Do we have a prompt? No. Oh well. Ah, there we go, a prompt. Now I should just stress that this was using a dummy load and you wouldn't normally use SSH uh, because anything encrypted over amateur radio, certainly in the UK, is not allowed. Uh, likewise, you're not allowed to transmit anything that is not originating from an amateur station. So, for example, pinging Google whilst it would work, or trying to browse a website online whilst it would work, is also uh, not acceptable in terms of the regulations. Um, so, if you were doing this for real, you'd want to use Telnet. As I said, I've got Telnet enabled on the server, but not on the client at the moment. Uh, the only issue to bear in mind with Telnet is all your passwords, all your authentication will be transmitted in plain text. So you want to be very careful if you are using it for that. Um, or drop Telnet and have some other, other authentication or some other login system. Um, which I guess would have to be authenticating against the AX25 ID on the interface, but again that's that's fakeable so I'm not sure how, how you'd secure such a system. But anyway, this, this video has shown what is possible, even using a heavy protocol such as SSH. Um, 
So thank you for watching, and if there's any questions drop a message on the video on YouTube and I'll do my best to answer them. This has been Steve, M0SPN, that's Mike Zero, Sierra Papa November, and I'll look forward to chatting to you again on a, on a future video. Thank you and 73s.